Gaffer, a great way to kickstart our Bristol Street Motors Trophy campaign on Tuesday night. Yeah, it was a, a good win for us away from home against uh, Wigan, who are in the League One above us. So um, important that uh, you know we got midfielder scoring a goal in Harvey and uh, Leanne Gold getting his first goal as a striker. So from my point of view, it was another strong performance from us, uh, followed on from a, a dominance display against uh, Newport on the Saturday. So we've gone there, uh, made eight changes and uh, seamlessly these players have come into the team and performed well. The result itself was fantastic of course but given our recent levels of performances um, against some some top teams did it come as much of a surprise to you? No, as I said, I said you know we've got a good squad um, we've assembled a squad of 24 at this moment in time uh, and they all can play uh, in this team. We've shown that We've made changes in the EFL Trophy, we've made changes in the EFL Cup, made changes in the league and uh, everyone can you know, compete for a jersey and uh, that's what we're going to need uh, for the 42 games remaining and uh, to push ourselves you know, up the league table. Just how pleased were you with our first goal um, because it was a deadly counter-attack and, and it was obviously Harvey McAdam um, starting and finishing the move. Yeah, it's something we work on quite a bit, uh, you know, winning that ball on the edge of the box and then quite quickly finding ourselves in the opposition half. And uh, it's something that, uh, you know, there's space to, us to go and play in. And uh, Harvey picked the ball up, he played a great pass out for Ben Tollett and, uh, you know, he took the ball for a run. Harvey uh, kept on going and uh, got himself on the end of it and uh, delighted to, to see that happen. Second half, conceding the penalty on 63 minutes before taking the lead again two minutes later. That was some response and it says a lot about the group's mentality. Yeah, I think that was important that we scored quite quickly afterwards because it might have been that um, the game went to uh, penalty kicks. But, you know, we could have gone ahead in the first half, maybe 2-0 with uh, Harrick having a great opportunity, possibly side foot instead of, you know, putting his laces through it. But... Um, the way that um, we created some openings in the match was uh, an aspect that we all enjoyed. Created the openings is, is obviously a big thing, but also so difficult to break down and, and that really frustrated Wigan. Yeah, I mean, we had uh, a really good shape to us and system uh, in place uh, in the midfield. Did a great job, you know, Paul Lewis and uh, Harrick and Harvey uh, in there. But not only that, the white players uh, were fantastic as well. So they helped uh, the defenders and, and that's what it's about. It's about as a team game and, and that's what we try and do going forward as well. Can the, the full backs join in and help uh, the forward players go forward? Eight changes on the night to the starting eleven, um, with solid performances across the board. I imagine that gives you a headache ahead of team selection for Saturday, but of course that's a good headache to have. Yeah, I mean it gives us opportunity to to change things, but um, we've come off a really strong, dominant performance against Newport, and uh, uh, that uh, can't be forgotten as well. Uh, but uh, we have got players that uh, have performed really well uh, the other night and uh, that's what I'm delighted about because when you make changes to the team it's important that these players grasp that opportunity and they did that. Focusing on Saturday's opposition now in Crew Alexandra, um, a fairly mixed start to the season for them. Yeah, I mean um, a team that um, we know well uh, and a team that pushed uh, very hard last season to, to get promoted, just missing out and uh, this season they've changed a wee bit of their style of play um, so we'll understand them a bit better uh, when we watch them again today but uh, they have changed uh, the style from last season. Just touching on the fact that they were so close to promotion obviously uh, losing out in the, the playoff final um, it's important regardless of them changing the style of play or whatever that they can be a real threat for anyone on, on their day. Yeah, the same as everyone in this division and uh, we are a team that uh, is forming and uh, we've done that over a number of weeks now and uh, we'll look at the strengths and weaknesses of uh, crew as we've done all week and uh, you know try and get the better of them. Last time out in the league for them, um, they left it late to beat Bromley, um, so they'll go into this one looking to build on league momentum. Yeah, I mean it was a tough game down at Bromley and everyone, you know, uh, has seen how Bromley have started the campaign, uh, getting promoted, and you know for Crew to go there and uh, get the win uh, was big for them. And uh, we've, we've seen the the highlights of the game, we've seen the full game as well. So um, we understand how they got that victory that day. 
Uh, deadline day arrival, Marcus Dakers will be in contention after being unavailable for the first two games um, since arriving. How pleased are you to have him on board? Yeah, delighted and uh, he's trained well with us and he wasn't able to, to play in the previous two games and he'll come into the 18-man squad on Saturday. It gives us you know good options in the front area now. Uh, a strong player will hold the ball up, he can take it for a run uh, and you know he'll be a threat in that penalty box. Uh, and finally, from a personnel point of view, how are we looking ahead of Saturday? Yeah, just at this moment in time, we've just got George Ray. He's the only one that uh, is definitely out for the game.